either the one you're supporting right. in a GOTV effort, or even if not, do you just sit out the next four years? What happens? Right. Uh, so the issue is accountability. And, uh, and so I think for too long, uh, many of us have considered the vote the end all and be all uh, without looking beyond in terms of what the vote is supposed to represent, right? Uh, none of these candidates are a blank box. They stand for policy positions that actually mean something in terms of health, actually mean something in terms of the criminal justice system, actually mean something in terms of income security. And so we have to understand that when you're voting, you're actually pulling a lever for a slate of policy positions. But you're not just voting for it. That's not the end, the vote. Uh, other things have to happen uh, in order to hold policymakers accountable. And these other things uh, it happen to include getting up in their faces, calling their offices, uh, contacting, uh, visiting their offices, having discussions with them about your policy priorities, writing op-eds in the newspapers, uh, getting grassroots engagement uh, and, and involvement on issues to push for an agenda. There are a number of things that actually, unfortunately, it actually also involves fundraising. Uh, so there are a number of things. It's a strategy. Uh, voting is just one part of the process. And the hip hop community, uh, in order to get on the agenda and to hold policymakers accountable, actually have to be involved in the game on multiple levels. And, uh, and there are a number of strategies and tactics that have to be utilized. The vote is one of them. That's, that's, that's just one of them. That's the tip off. But there are other things that have to be done. And so with that, I mean, we've got issues. I mean, if you, you name it, we've got issues from health to income.